Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is why and how will you use an Excel sheet in your Selenium automation project or projects? Let me answer. We use Excel sheet in our Selenium automation projects for several reasons. One of the reason is data-driven testing purpose. If you want to perform data-driven testing in your Selenium automation, that uh, multiple sets of data you will write down in the Excel sheet. And from the Excel sheet, you will read into your automation scripts and run the same test again and again with multiple sets of data. Okay. And second thing is test data management. Okay. So let's say there are a lot of automation scripts and uh, these automation scripts, uh, you need to pass some data. So in, instead of uh, hard coding this data, instead of hard coding this data in the individual automation scripts, rather we'll centralize them in a Excel sheet. Okay. We'll organize them and, uh, you know, centralize them in a Excel sheet or Excel file. So what happens with this tomorrow if the application URL changes, okay, let's say tomorrow if application URL changes, you don't have to go to each and every automation script and update the URL. Rather, you can read that uh, application URL from the Excel Excel file, okay? Excel file itself or Excel sheet itself, okay? You just need to update that data or application URL in that Excel sheet and uh, all the automation scripts will read the data from that Excel sheet, which is an updated one, updated application URL. Not only application URL, anything, any data like username, password, anything. Okay, if you centralize, if you remove the hard coding of this data from the individual automation scripts and uh, use Excel sheet as an uh, test data management, then, okay, by centralizing it, by removing the hard coding, the maintenance will become very less, right? Tomorrow, if the application URL changes or your username changes or password changes, you don't have to go and find those individual automation scripts where data is entered, rather simply move on to the Excel sheet where this data is mentioned and update at a single place rather than touching all the individual automation scripts, wherever this application URL, username and password is provided, simply go to the Excel sheet and update, okay? All the automation scripts will read the data from the Excel sheet. That updated data will, will be retrieved from the Excel sheet, okay? So that's another advantage, okay? Test data management, removing hard coding and centralizing, okay? So you can also use Excel sheet to write back the results, okay? In some automation frameworks, what they do is, whatever the results, uh, automation test results run after they are run, right? Whether it is pass or fail, that value will be written back to the Excel sheet, okay? After running the test in the automation script, okay? We can write the code in our automation framework in such a way that if the test is passed, we can write down pass beside that particular test in the Excel sheet, like that. It's 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 kind of flexible, guys. Whatever you want to achieve, you can achieve, okay? These are few, few uses you can say, okay? How will you use if you get this question? You can answer few of these things, okay? Few of these finds like data driven testing is the main one that everyone uses. Test data management is also main one. So this one is automatically part of the test data management only. By doing test data management, we are removing the hard coding of the data and centralizing the data, okay? So this one is optional. It's not compulsory, but uh, some some people will do that where uh, if a particular test passes, right, they'll, they will write back the that particular result as pass into the back to the Excel sheet beside the test method, test name in that Excel sheet, okay? So this is up to you, okay? But these are mandatory. This, this we generally do as part of the Excel management in our automation projects. So let me practically show you this. Here we have a framework. Okay, here uh, there is one login test. So let's go with the login test. Uh, this is a login test. You see, this is a login test uh, where I implemented the data-driven testing thing. So I am retrieving the data, you see? So here there is a data provider for this test method for this uh, verify login with valid credentials with multiple sets of valid credentials i want to test this for that i am getting the data from this data provider known as valid credential supplier here is the one but if you see this uh, data provider method it is reading the data from the excel file from which sheet login sheet okay from the login sheet of the excel file where is the excel file in this framework the excel file is here you see this is the excel file if you open this you can see that in the login there are multiple sets of uh, credentials we are reading that data provider is reading from there. You see multiple sets of username, password are there. This data from the login sheet are read by this uh, method. This method is implemented in the utilities here. Okay, utilities. You see, this is a method, get test data for which you have to pass the sheet name that is login. And this will get all the data in that particular sheet. And once the data is supplied to this uh, data provider method, okay, this data provider method will call this login method multiple times 
So if there are three sets of data here, your test method, this login test method is going to run three times with three sets of data. This is called as data-driven testing. And apart from that, we can also use this uh, Excel sheet to store the data also. Here only for data-driven testing I have used, but you can also use this uh, for uh, storing the data, okay? For managing the data and uh, removing the hard coding of the data from this individual automation scripts, also you can use. And also you can write back the results of whether the tests are passing or failing back to this Excel sheet. For that, you have to go to utilities and implement some methods here, okay? Here only one method is there for reading the data from the Excel file. We have to implement some other methods here for uh, using the POI API, okay? This is all possible. This code or this particular method that you have created in the utilities for reading the data from the Excel file is only possible because of a library known as POI API library that is added in this form.xml file. I'll show you the form.xml file. In that, under the dependencies, there will be POI API. Under the dependencies, you see we have added the POI API, POI XML schema. Okay, where is that? Sorry. Yeah, this one. POI XML schemas, POI XML. And other one is POI. Okay, these three libraries we have to add with the same version. Okay, like that, guys. A lot of things, other things are also possible, but here only data driven testing I implemented in this particular framework. Okay, so hope, guys, you got the idea like uh, why and how. Both I answered. Why means this is a why. How means this is a framework I showed you, right? This is how. Okay, we have to implement some methods in the utilities and call the methods in the data provider. Data provider will pass the test method and uh, data will be there in the Excel sheets. That is a connection with okay? So how and why both are answered in this session as part of this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.